Hello everybody, what's up? Tony Talib here, and uh, I'm going to review the July 8th episode of Monday Night Raw. And, uh, well, let's start it off with Vicky and Brad Maddox in the ring. Vicky kissing up to the fans because of her job valuation. And it was revealed that a poll was going to be held to for the fans to decide whether she had passed or failed the evaluation. Uh, we started off with Daniel Bryan uh, defeating Sheamus in one hell of a match, I must say. It was a fantastic match. It was a lot of fun, especially the ending. Great action between the two. Great chemistry. And, uh, man, if they would have had a, a match like that at WrestleMania, it would have been a lot better. But then again, if it would if it would have happened like that, then we probably wouldn't have heard uh, uh, that Daniel Bryan wouldn't be as popular right now. So, a great match between the two. For me, the match of the night. After that, we saw AJ and uh, Dolph Ziggler at the back. A little tension between them, but it was quickly uh, resolved between the two. And apparently, they're going uh, to try to be the power couple of the WWE. And personally, I hope they do. I hope Ziggler wins the World Heavyweight Championship. Uh, we saw um, the Shield uh, defeat uh, Tons of Funk in a match that was okay, and uh, well, Tons of Funk gave The Shield more problems than I would have imagined. Uh, it was a pretty important win for The Shield, and well, Tons of Funk looked very good in the process, so, well, I would have liked uh, the, the Usos to, I don't know, have a kind of a, a brawl with The Shield, but hey, you can have any everything. Uh, but it was a good match to give the Shield more momentum heading towards Money in the Bank. Probably they will interact more with the Usos on SmackDown. Uh, we had the Cena and Mark Henry confrontation. Uh, again, Cena was trying to kiss up to the fans again at the start of the, of the segment, uh, something I really don't like. Uh, he should be all about business, uh, when, because when he is, man, he's, he's very entertaining. You know, uh, and he started to pick up when Mark Henry... Uh, came out, uh, uh, Henry telling Cena that there are lines he wouldn't cross because of the people, uh, but Henry was going to cross any line that was put in front of him. So Cena drew a line in front of him, dared him to cross it. Henry said he wasn't going to cross it. Uh, he changed his mind and uh, tried to attack Cena uh, at least uh, uh, he made it look like it, uh, and Cena uh, kind of reacted to it as a reflex, and Henry saying he was scared and all that. And then uh, taking a cheap shot to Cena, Cena then trying to give him the attitude adjustment and couldn't uh, quite do it because of Henry's weight, which I find it uh, rather uh, dumb because Cena has been able to lift the big show in his worst times like in 2004 or in 2006 so I don't see the problem but anyway Henry try, uh, reversed it gave him the world's strongest lamb and I don't know it pretty much uh, confirms the fact that John Cena is not going to lose the WWE championship at least not in my opinion I would want Henry to be the champion but well that's just uh, a wish you know I don't think it's going to happen uh, we saw Jericho Defeat Curtis Axel, you know, to further uh, the feud between Axel and the Miz. Miz was that commentary distracted Curtis Axel. Uh, well, it was more like a rookie mistake from Curtis Axel, more than the Miz interfering. But Jericho hit the code breaker, and that was it. Uh, again, Ryback didn't come to the ring, uh, which seemed a little, I don't know, dumb to me because of what happened last week. But, well, there's still SmackDown for those two to interact. Uh, Money in the Bank participants were in the backstage area, mainly the World Heavyweight Championship, Money in the Bank, with Road Scholars getting interviewed and, and interrupted by Coulter and Swagger and Cesaro. Then we saw uh, Wade Barrett and Fandango entering the scene. Fandango was trying to say his name, and... Well, he was warned three times not to say it, and when he started to say it, uh, Barrett just hit him with, with that elbow right in the face. 
sent him crashing down. They laughed and all that. There was a little tension between the Rhodes Scholars. But uh, I don't know. I think this uh, this is pretty entertaining. I think it's going to be a great match between the uh, between these seven superstars. And uh, I don't know who's going to win it. I would like for Barrett, Sandow, or Rhodes. But uh, I like the fact that all seven of them are heels. So, well, it's going to be interesting to see who pulls it. Who pulls the win here? Uh, we saw Del Rio and Sin Cara ending in a no contest, uh, basically because uh, Dolph Ziggler came out uh, to interrupt the match, mocking Del Rio and Ricardo Rodriguez by trying to make his own introduction. And, uh, well, he sucks at it. But uh, he, he did a pretty decent promo in the process. So uh, I, that was a good part of it. At least it wasn't a waste. Uh, Del Rio uh, went outside to a taxi and a brawl ensued and well I want to see this match I I think they can put a very good match because their match at Payback was a lot uh, was was about storytelling more than anything else so I think they can put a good match and I think they will this Sunday at Money in the Bank and I want to see it um, we saw then the job valuation uh, of Vicky with uh, Vince, Stephanie, and Triple H in the ring, and uh, Vicky Guerrero and Brad Maddox uh, in front of in front of their desk in the ring. You know, uh, you know what Triple H always makes me laugh when he isn't that uh, type of character, and I I think that uh, that uh, situation between Triple H and Vince going uh, uh, their opinions. Cr uh, crashing uh, between them. Uh, it's pretty entertaining. It's definitely being in the middle and both of them trying to to uh, pull her to their side, to, to their side. Uh, pretty entertaining. Stephanie was the, the one that wa uh, was left with the decision. She, she said, let the fans decide with the poll and it was a landslide with 75% saying Vicky had failed. So Stephanie fired Vicky Guerrero. She went back uh, with Triple H to the back, and Vince tried to cheer her up. Vicky screaming, I hate when she screams like that because, man, I hate loud noises, especially the, when a woman with that kind of voice shouts. And, uh, well, Vince uh, named Brad Maddox the new general manager of Raw. I don't know. I don't see too much of a entertaining factor in Brad Maddox, but then again, I, I might be surprised starting next week, so let's see what happens with that. Uh, I'm not going to uh, give a conclusion about him until I see him as the general manager. Uh, we saw Kane defeating Christian in a nice match. It wasn't uh, a great match by any means, but it was a nice match, you know, it ended pretty abruptly with a choke slam. Uh, when Christian came charging to Kane, Kane defeating Christian, like I said, and then the moment everyone was waiting for, the bride, the, the Wyatt family debuting. And uh, I must say, it was a pretty impressive debut, you know, lights uh, going out, a video, a creepy video. You know, it was it had been built up not only for weeks but through the night with creepy videos. Uh, lights went out. The Wyatt family came out. Three of them with Bray Wyatt in front with that little lantern. He sat on his on his chair in the same chair in the videos. He sat on the chair at ringside when the when the light came on. The lights came on. His two brothers attacked Kane. I mean, a brutally attacked Kane with the steel steps right into the face of Kane, crashing his skull. Man, it must be one of the most brutal attacks I've ever seen in the WWE, especially in the last few years. You know, that was pretty, pretty brutal, to say the least. Kane was carried out on a stretcher. It was announced on WWE.com. And now there's doubts of him making it to money in the bank. Well, man, I want to... I wanted to see Kane. I hope he, he gets to Money in the Bank, but a very interesting choice for the White family to attack Kane. Presumably, possibly a Brothers of Destruction reunion at SummerSlam. I hope they can pull it off. Uh, we saw 
uh, AJ and Alicia Fox against Caitlyn and Layla ending in a no contest when Caitlyn went berserk and attacked AJ. She whipped at her ass and uh, with a spear. And uh, well, that was just to further that angle. We're done. I don't think AJ is going to lose the title. I don't see a reason for her to. But well, you never know. And then we saw a very awkward segment. You know, Ryback. Uh, Hugging Vicky at the back, telling she deserved better. Man, I don't know what's going on with Ryback. I really don't know what the hell they're trying to do with him. But I hope Ryback uh, goes back to being that tough bastard that beats the hell out of anybody that's put in front of him instead of that crybaby and emotional guy, you know. It just doesn't suit him, in my opinion. And then the main event, CM Punk versus Randy Orton in a very good match. Not as good as the Brian Sheamus match. Not even close in my opinion, but it was a damn good match. Pretty entertaining, and I was surprised to see Punk uh, cleanly pin Orton. I don't know if it's just me, but I wasn't expecting it. I was expecting more like a, you know, all the uh, all the money in the bank participants interfering and the match ending in a no contest. But well, Punk put Orton away with the with the GDS, and then came Brian outside. I don't know why it was like a heelish move, but well, it didn't feel like he was turning heel nonetheless. But it was a heelish move to come out and attack CM Punk and attack Randy Orton out of nowhere with no reason whatsoever, in my opinion, just to prove that he is going to win the Money in the Bank, and he, you know, it's pretty possible he he will. I don't see any of the other superstars with the same amount of momentum as him. So I pretty much think he's going to win it. He grabbed the ladder, put it in the center of the ring, grabbed the briefcase, and the uh, the show ended. Now, I must say, it was a pretty good show, pretty damn good show. Uh, a lot better than the last two weeks, you know. Not as good probably as the one after Payback, but it was in the same league in my opinion. I enjoyed every single moment of the show, but uh, I want to know what you guys thought of it. You know, which was your favorite match? Uh, did you like the Wyatt family debut? Do you think it was a, it was rightly done, or would you have done something different? And well, do you think it was a good go home show for Money in the Bank? I think it was. You tell me in the comment section, and please, guys, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel so you can help me out. I thank you very much for watching. Good night. God bless.